Hi friends, in this video I'm going to try and recreate the real place using the dice from Travel and Adventure released by Paper Discovery. But this card is not the only project that I have created using these dice. I also have another video tutorial where I used the same dice to build up this diorama scene and I have also used the bridge die to create a colosseum. That second video is exclusive to Craft World. I'll put a link down below so you can go ahead and watch it after you watch this one. If you are not yet registered, there will also be an invitation link. It's free, by the way. Now let's get started with the project. This is the place that inspired me. You can see that stone arch over there. If you look inside, you will actually see a river coming out from underground and you will also see a large railroad bridge. So let's try and recreate it using the dice. To begin with, I have created a card base that is six and a quarter by six and a quarter inches out of light blue cardstock. Then I'm going to take some gold mirror cardstock and a stone pond die, which is also by Paper Discovery. In this case, it's not going to be the pond, it will be that stone arch. And this is how I like to use this die. First, I'm taking just the insert without the cutting outlines, and I'm going to emboss it using uh, the embossing sandwich of my uh, platinum machine. Once it is embossed, I'm going to place the cutting outlines on top and I'm going to tape them down and this time I'm going to just die cut this image. And of course the tools and supplies that I'm using are listed down below in the description box as well as on my blog. The cutting sandwich does not really flatten out the embossed parts at all, so here I have my arch. I'm trying to be as abstract and bold as possible because in this type of scenes the more realistic you are trying to be with the just using the dice, the less your scene is going to resemble the real place. So today I try to capture the idea rather than details. This bridge die has uh, raised bricks on it, so they are meant for debossing, but you can also use them for hot foiling, and this is exactly what I did here. For more details on hot foiling, please watch the tutorial that I mentioned earlier in this video. This large die set is called In the Country and it has a bunch of different outlines for scene building. For my project today, I'm just going to knead the riverbanks. I have die cut them out of milk cardstock and then I'm also going to create the water. In this card, the water is the easiest element and uh, I'm just sticking a piece of blue cardstock behind the river banks. I wanted to keep the right distance between the river banks, so I used a piece of washi tape to hold the two pieces together. Then I stuck uh, down the blue water behind them and then I can remove the tape. Now I'm going to trim down my river to the size of the card, so I'm placing the frame and I'm tracing it with a pencil and then I'm going to cut it down with the scissors. Then I'm sticking down the river with the river banks onto the card front with the liquid glue. Next I'm going to attach my bridge, so I have applied some pieces of uh, double-sided foam tape at the wrong side and then I'm sticking it down onto the card front as well. The bridge die is actually 7 inches long, so I will have to trim down the die cut as well. Next, I have applied some foam squares at the wrong side of my golden embossed frame and I'm sticking it down onto the card front. 
this train die comes with the bridge so I have die cut the frame out of green cardstock and now I'm going to stick it down onto the bridge as well and by the way the bridge and stock part that uh, I'm depicting here is actually a railroad bridge I'm also going to add uh, the name of the place in case some people who know this place still don't recognize it. I am now using the alphabet strips and I'm attaching the letters onto a strip of blue cardstock one by one. And by the way, if you want to know how to make your own alpha stickers, I do have a tutorial on my channel and I'll put a link down below in the description for you. Then I'm going to attach my sentiment onto the card with a piece of foam tape. Then I'm trimming off extra cardstock and I'm tucking the edges of the sentiment strip behind the frame. And here is my card completely finished. This was really a quick and easy one. I'm encouraging you to look at your craft supplies and uh, think what real life places you can reconstruct using them. And these are the pictures of other two projects that I've made using the same supplies. And now you're welcome to head over to Craft World and watch yet another tutorial, and I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.